was about a five-year window where I had an opportunity every year to tr try to win a championship. With from 2000 guys. To 2008 to 2012. Yeah, right. Yep. 2008 to 2012. Man, I went to Cleveland, okay, went to the finals. But damn it, when I went to New Orleans and was down there, we stunk it up. It gave me a friendly reminder. Never take that shit for granted again. <laughs> Are the Lakers doing that with Hell LeBron no. and Anthony Davis? Hell no. Hell no. And, and guess what, they say? It's not a move out there that they can make that's going to help them get back into that contention. So it's over. Yeah, like the Lakers. Oh, so, so, so you know what you're saying, right? Is that your way of saying what I suspect you're saying and what I believe is correct? What, what you get? LeBron James is done winning championships. No, I didn't. I didn't. I did not say that. I said, I'm saying. It. Well, well, that's your. He's opinion. in L.A. Well, if he's in L.A., what can they do? Oh, that's your opinion. I'm talking about this year. I don't know what okay. they could do for next year, but I'm talking about this year. It's nothing okay. that they could do this year, in my opinion, that's going to put them over the hump. Because they're too, they're too slow at the guard position, and I I don't know if Zach Levine is the answer and the 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 money that he's making. I don't. First of all, I don't know when Zach Levine started being like this horrible player that everybody's trying to paint him to be the guy. Average. I don't agree. I don't agree with that. I, no, Zach I Levine, know, but he averaged twenty eight a couple of seasons. That's right. Brother can ball. Yeah, he can hoop. But I just don't see. It's just too tough. They're not better than the Clippers. They're not better than the Nuggets. And to be honest with you, if they was to see Anthony Edwards and uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves at any part of the postseason, they would get stomped out. Are you sold on Minnesota? And I asked that question not because of Anthony Davis, because I'm so uh, – Anthony Edwards, I'm sorry. I'm sold on him, even though Anthony Davis is having a great season. Props to him. He's playing games, averaging 25 and 12, balling, helping LeBron James. He's only helped that LeBron James is getting, to be quite honest with you, for the most part. But when I go to Minnesota and I think about Anthony Edwards, this brother's a young superstar in the making. He is something special. And he's bringing out the dog and cat and Rudy Gobert that I haven't seen anybody be able to do in including Jimmy Butler. And even though Jimmy Butler didn't have Rudy Gobert, he just had Cat. I'm wondering, though, how legit is Minnesota when you know all they're going to do come postseason time is go small and then Rudy Gobert ain't going to be able to be out there because he can't guard anybody on the perimeter. Okay, and, and that's when you go with Nas Reed. The Minnesota Timberwolves, let me, let me, let me say something to you. The mm -hmm. Minnesota Timberwolves are set up in a perfect spot to dethrone the Denver Nuggets. Mm. They got two bigs. Too they got two bigs. So if Rudy get in foul trouble, damn it, catch you go to the foul, we're gonna bring in Nas Reed. But here's the here's the here's the whole thing that everyone is missing. When it comes to starting fives, the only other starting five in the NBA that I could say is better than the Minnesota Timberwolves is the Boston Celtics. The kid McDaniels might be one of the top three and D guys in the league, okay? We know what Mike Conley is going to bring to the table, right? He's the most steadiness, veteran leadership, the whole bit. Yeah, and go knock down shots, S.A. Do what he do best. He's going to stretch the floor, let them go to work, and he's going to knock down shots. Right now, one could argue Rudy Gobert is, 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 the, is the defensive player of the year right now, front runner for that. Carl Anthony Towns, damn it, is looking like the Carl Anthony Towns we've been waiting on. And then you got depth off the bench. Nas Reed, slow mo, the kid slow mo. Uh, uh, damn it, I can't think of his name right now. The one from San Antonio. We, we go. We, 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 I remember him in a second. I forgot <laughs> but the yeah, name, but, but 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 that's saying I'm telling you, man, this Timberwolves team, they for real. What about OKC? Nah, nah. Okay, C got too many holes. They got too many flaws. And I saw this over this past weekend when they played against the Lakers and the Clippers. They get punished, man, in the interior. Like, they they really, I think this upcoming offseason, Sam Presti has to go out and get a center and move Chet Holmgren to the four position. Man, Plumlee mm -hmm. and AD, they was having it they way in the interior. They was giving up offensive rebound after offensive rebound. Don't get it twisted. They're going to be around. I just don't see them making that much noise. By the way, you were talking, when you were talking slow-mo, you were talking about Kyle Anderson. Kyle Anderson. About Kyle Anderson. Yeah, That's who you're talking about. I got it. I got it. I got you. Uh, last question here. 
So as we handicap, because we know Boston should be the team in the East. We don't like Milwaukee's defense. We're not sold on Philadelphia as of yet, even though they're legit. If Tobias Harris steps up and elevate his level of play, go continues to play offensively aggressive as he has been playing. We get that. But Boston is the team to beat in the Eastern Conference. You and I are aligned there. The team to beat out West, based off of what you just said about Minnesota, based off of what we just brought up about the Clippers. And, of course, Denver can't be ignored. By the way, Phoenix has been playing well with Beal, KD, Devin Booker. Who you got in the West? I got the Clippers. I got the Clippers. With all that stuff you just said about Minnesota, the best start five in the conference. It it don't matter. I got the the Clippers. That don't mean they got the best team in the the Western Conference. The depth of the Clippers and the coaching. See – that's what people see. I say you know this, but a lot of people forget that 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 man that's walking up and down that sideline, the two that's on both sides, that's doing mm-hmm. the play calling, that's calling the timeouts, that's drawing the ATOs. That matters. That's a competition in the playoff series as well. And I'm gonna yeah. tell you this, man. That damn Norman Powell, what he does. For the ball, ball, I like him. Up and him and Russell Westbrook coming off the bench. They got, do something they, for you. Thank you. They got, I'm telling you, and I then, love what I'm seeing. From them. You see, you see how you see you see how T. Lou then slid in a little bit of the the young fella coffee. He got man up in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what Steve Kerr should be doing. You see how he mixed the 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 how the mixture of the two. P.J. Tucker, you got to sacrifice, big fella. We might have to sign, might have to find another home for you, but you're not in my right. rotation right now. Mm. And because of that. We're seeing Ty Lue do what Steve Kerr has been unable to do for the longest time involving Kaminga, Moody. Jimski can ball. He's playing him as a rookie. 